Now we've looked at synths and samplers and drones and rises and drops, I'd like to concentrate on something a little different. I'd like to look at some rhythmical elements and some rhythmical instruments and see how we can use these to twist our sounds. Now let's start with the Dr. Octo Rex. And some of you may know it from earlier versions of Reason as a Dr. Rex, pretty much the same thing with some nice new touches that we'll be getting into. But really, this is a dedicated sampler and a dedicated loop player. It only loads Rex files, so you either have to use these from libraries or prepare them yourself in Recycle. It's pretty easy and there's plenty of them about, to be honest with you. So pretty much any sample CD that you get from somebody like Loop Masters or Time and Space is going to have a load of Rex files on it these days. And they'll load directly into the Octo Rex. And there's also quite a few of them in the Reason Factory library. So you can just load them up. And the good thing about the Octo Rex is it will hold eight at the same time, hence the name. So if we decide that we want to start again, let's reset it. Just right click and reset device there. And then we can load up an individual sample and we can choose the slot and I'm going to go ahead and load something from let's have a look sample CDs and we'll go with something from 2020 vision this is a loop masters uh, CD or collection uh, showing my age there and uh, in fact let's go with a groove sample which is probably musical great that'll do okay so there we go, got a sample going, very nice. Now you may think that a rhythmical instrument like this that loads loops and beats and slice based data um, is, you know, capable of sort of twisting the sound a little bit with the synth engine, but it probably hasn't struck you that in fact it's a fully blown synthesizer and that you can completely twist sounds and turn them into something brand new, into twisted elements. So let's have a go with this. So like I said, there is a synth engine and we can filter things. We can add resonance and we can add filter envelope. Now the good thing about this is that the filter envelope clamps down on each slice in a standard sampler we'd play the sample through and the filter envelope would act across the whole sample but as this is a slice based groove we're hearing that effect that acidic effect on every single slice very cool we've also got a timed LFO we can use and we can apply this to either the oscillators for pitch crazy vinyl effects the filter or pan one of my favorites so we've got some auto panning going on there but what else can we do in Dr. Octorex? Well, since it was changed into the Octorex, we've got slice edit mode. Now this is great because it shows you exactly which slice is playing and it allows you to pick any of these modes across the bottom and graphically edit the loop. So reverse, for example, lets us dial in random reverse sections. I'm gonna take some of the attack off the filter. In fact, let's take some of that filter modulation off. And it's easy to dial in reverse sections. And this is totally non-destructive, so you can just turn them off or on whenever you want. Okay, so let's say we wanted to play with the filter frequency. We can also dial this in manually. And this would take a long time if you were programming automation. And what about some extra pan information on top of that auto panner? Go back to pan. And we can change the decay of each slice as well. And this is amplitude based decay. So it's like an accent, really. And we could change the pitch. Now be careful with this because this is going to be pretty 
crazy and it's pretty intense. Let's bring this filter envelope back in. Great. Now when you start to feed this through some effects, and let's go with some delay. And let's maybe crunch it up a little bit with some Scream 4. Nice. So it's really easy to completely change loops and twist them into something brand new. Here we've got a resonant panning, reversed, distorted, delayed effect with some acidic envelope movements. And really, I completed that in just a couple of minutes. Now imagine what you can do if you spend some real time over it and dig right into this graphical editing system. It's really awesome and just allows you to completely twist loops in just a few moves. So good luck with that and get into your Rex file library and maybe this will give you a brand new uh, edge on all your new on your, all your Rex files. So there we go. There's the Dr. Octo Rex doing its thing. Next up, we're going to take a look at how to use the Kong and its effects to produce equally twisted audio soundscapes. Yeah, 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 yeah.